This is our nest. It's where our beetles live and take time out to rest. Every beetle has a mood, and the happier the beetle, the better it will perform. To keep our beetles happy, we need to make sure they are well fed, have somewhere to sleep, somewhere to groom themselves, and plenty of entertainment. By selecting the map, we can see a bigger picture of where our beetles live and their surroundings. This whole area is the abandoned lot. It's split into smaller territories, which can be conquered and then harvested for resources. To claim a contested territory, we must send our beetles to fight for it. However, before we fight, we need to choose which beetles will be sent out in the Swarm Maker. In this mission, we can only choose one type, but it can be copied many times to form a small army. Notice that there is a goop cost. Goop is an important resource and shouldn't be squandered, so we don't want to send more beetles than we need. Also, keep in mind that the happier a beetle is, the less goop it will cost to send into battle. The mission objectives can now be seen in the top left of the screen, and we control our swarms by left-clicking where we want them to go. If our beetles spot any enemies on the way, they will engage. If we want our beetles to ignore enemies and rush to their destination, we can use a double-click move command. Later on, when doing missions with multiple beetle groups, we can cycle through them with the numbers on the keyboard. Excellent! Now that we've won, we've got some rewards for our nest. We can also see on the map that this zone is no longer contested, and we've gained access to explore a new contested zone. After that mission, our victorious beetle, Kiki Kiki, needs some time to rest to get its strength back. But Ortsdoko here is fine, and can go out and fetch some resources for us. Looking around our conquered territory, we can see two new resource jobs. One for foraging, which will yield food, and one for scavenging, which will yield other nest items like bedding and sometimes goop. Before sending a beetle out on a job, it's important to check the chance of success. This chance is increased based upon certain beetle attributes, but also the beetle's overall happiness. We'll send Otsudoko out on a foraging mission. If there's nothing else for us to do, we can fast forward time and wait for Otsudoko to get back. Great! A successful mission. We've got a pumpkin seed, a blueberry and an apple for our nest. There are two ways to get new beetles for our collection. They will come as rewards for conquering contested territories, or we can breed our existing beetles to create offspring. We will need a combination of both, new beetles to bring in fresh genetic material to the gene pool, and selective breeding to combine and bring out the best traits. To breed two beetles, we open up the breeding menu and select the beetles we want to breed. We'll have nine offspring to pick from. Choosing can be tricky, especially when part of a long-term breeding strategy. For now, we'll just pick the one with the highest strength. We can sort by strength by clicking on the S and selecting the top left beetle. And so we welcome Apiagop into the nest. It's going to need plenty of food before it reaches its full size, but when it does, I think we'll be ready to take on the next territory. But I'll leave that up to you.